even if we may have lost the overall game of attaining the crown, I think we accomplished our goal. And what was that? Beating Julia's ass and making sure that he's going to apologize to the dwarves later. Julius got power crept by a two-year-old. But it's not really fair to say that because Elfie is just completely different. We get to see a little bit more about her personality, the way that she was so embarrassed about, you know, quote-unquote traumatizing Will with the 10 clones. She's a very kind, aloof girl, and it, it's nice to see, like, more actually about her rather than her just, like, looking down and seeing where Will is in a mysterious way. Now, I'm not sure if the tournament is just done. Because, like, yeah, getting the Crown Battle Royale ship probably was, like, a huge event, but does that mean it's all just done? I'd like to know more about what Wignob was all about, too, the elf guy who did take the crown and win the last game. Let's begin today's reaction. Dwarves! Hey! Party! Kanpai. Bald! <laughs> I want to see the apology, though. Where's Yulius at? Yup. <sighs> no, he did. Doesn't matter, because like, Shion, I think he did end up getting scouted by the fire people, right? Even if they were like, oh no, they're infighting. As soon as he summoned that guardian thing, people were like, alright, we don't care. This guy is amazing. What a prodigy for the fire faction. Let's bring him in. And Will, he already got scouted a long time ago by that, uh, you know, El the other scout who always calls him Will Senpai. I wish Shion was here too with Colette. He would never come. Got the apology already? I didn't see it. Oh, I see. <laughs> He's a dish boy now? <laughs> okay, so is Julius also gonna have a redemption arc, right? Because, like, if they're gonna introduce him back in these kind of funny moments, maybe Julius will also go through some sort of redemption and be just like a supporting character that's just not an asshole but may even help us out in the future. <laughs> Oh, it's just lackeys! Yo! You only said that two lackeys! They're helping out too! Corrected. Yuli is corrected. This is great. Yes, I don't know. Are people gonna be very interested in Will? What's gonna happen now? You would think so. But based on how Colette's, you know, questioning and phrasing this, probably not. How are they gonna find a reason to take away this accomplishment from Will and call him a no talent? Oh, punching is barbaric. You still can't use magic. Fuck you, even though you're stronger than everyone here. Okay. Uh, Praxis. Exploration. We need a team, a party. Oh, 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 Sion? Hmm? <laughs> Not Sion. Hey, Laggard! You want to join us, carry us in the dungeon? I'm still going to call you Laggard because, you know, fuck you, but you want to carry us? No. Blushing. Blushing, bro. Everyone wants a piece of will. Oh, I thought that people would figure out a way to like still discriminate against them. And it kind of seems like they're the way that they're telling him like a laggard book learner, but they acknowledge his strength for sure. Okay, and some people are just happy about him. Some people are nice about it. Okay. Most popular kid at school. Top three. <laughs> Wait. Does this mean Julius has now been replaced? How does this work? Is she on top three now? Julius Busboy? Like, even the drip and everything, right? It just feels like Shion has replaced Julius and... <laughs> 
I guess this is gonna be their party. Liana. Liana was very interested in Will too. Look at that. Rightfully so. He was so cool and strong. <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers all bullying him, I'm told now. He's probably happy? Wow. Well, I hope they're not just using him for his strength, which they probably are. So I'm not sure if you could call them friends, but yeah, you're a useful tool in their eyes right now. <gasps> oh my god. Put it, you're gonna let this happen in front of you? Oh. It's funny because this is basically a bunch of girls that have already lost by default trying to fight over Will. Because like none of them are gonna get Will. This dude too busy looking at that girl in the fucking tower, bro. Everyone here has already lost. Poor Colette, bro. But Colette Sion, Colette Sion. Look at the feet movement. The date. Roommate? We going shopping? Something cute. Rusty. あ、明日は学校休みだけど、ウィルはまた団じゃん。恋物うう、半分説得するような感じ。コレ、ウィル、デート。恐れておかないと。うん。でも確かに買い出しは必要だったから。そうだけど。その相手ってコレットさん?う
友達同士でその手のつなぎ方ってボイスピンボーイズ<笑> Damn Damn That's like their first time meeting Right? This is not like a long standing friendship that like Rosti is like bantering with First time kind of meeting Introduction And he does this <laughs> Critical hit <laughs> Cola should just go with Shion man Wow, look at that game. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they're saying right now? The workers, I think they're gossiping of like, oh my god, I think this girl's actually getting cucked by the femboy. Yeah, I think that is happening. <laughs> she got two ice creams for Will, but oh no, they're gonna share one together. Oh, I feel so bad. This is actually so sad. It's funny, it's cute, but it's also sad. I feel bad for Colette, man. What's up, Kiki? It's your special day, ruined by Rusty. Rusty. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's just a dude. He just has a very feminine appeal. <laughs> Rusty does have the top bunk bed too, and Will is the bottom bunk bed. I guess it is true. The one with the smaller banana bottoms. Nothing? Nothing? Nothing?確かにスキンシップは多いかもしれないけど、あった頃そそれにしたって。はい。お、飲み物買ってきたよ。<laughs> oh. Where's Colette's drink? <laughs> you didn't get her anything? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that would have been so mean if he did. Oh, look at that body position. Look at that. I'm gonna share it with you. We're gonna share it. Huh? Oh, she's fighting back. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna have a little chat with Colette. And correct her and let her know who the main bitch here is. Uh-oh. Yo. <laughs> Cloverworks water animation. Sorry, this is not Cloverworks, right? Hold up. What is Wistoria Studio actually? Cloverworks is uh, Samurai, right? It's Studio Actus and Bandai Namco Pictures. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to compare like the water animation from A1 Pictures versus Cloverworks, but they're Studio Actus and Bandai Namco Pictures. I think A1 Pictures Waters is still better. A1 is just on a fucking different level. But this anime is a studio, honestly. Like, Wistoria. Doga Kobo's works, which is going to be Oshinoko and Roshitere. I think they're putting a lot more effort into Oshinoko and animating. And Cloverworks, Samurai, and A1 Pictures, Maki and Heroin. I think those are like the best animated shows that I'm personally seeing this season. <sighs> yes. 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 <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> It's not you. God damn. It's not you. Mm. 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 The, the image that we saw of them taking a bath, I thought it was like a while ago. Still? They help each other wash their wands. <laughs> but even then, Will cares a lot more about Elf, Elfie more than anyone else, right? Like, sure, you can try to compete. At the end of the day, both of you have already lost. Will just wants Elfie. 
なんだかお二人の様子がおかしかったけどリアナリアナリアナえナンバーワンリアナ応援ザウス筆記実技実習すべてのタイムを取得してるミスの存在僕に何か用に時間をくれないか And then Rusty and Colette will find Will cheating on them with Liana, and it's gonna be peak slice of life. <laughs> Tea House Night! <laughs> My goodness! This is like some fucking student council shit, bro. They rich as fuck. Look at all this fanciest tea dessert, even outside. Look, they got multiple bodyguards for the entrance and for the stairway as well. That's too bougie. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Left and right. <laughs> well, he's been corrected. Sion has been corrected a long time ago. Wignall, still haven't really interacted with them yet. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Tetlis, for the tier one sub, but five? I thought it was supposed to be teams of three for some reason. What the? This is an undefeatable party. Bro. Yeah, that'd be crazy. So, if teams of five. But what about Colette? I don't think Rusty's even participating. I'm not sure. I guess Colette just gets left behind? I thought Will, Colette, and someone else would be party, but. Hmm. Hmm. Reverse harem here. Alright, Rusty No Man. Age 16, height 170th, birthday 10th of Halas Moon. Likes everything about Will Selfort. Dislikes flames and flame magic. Interesting. Really hates flames like Shion. First love, Will Serfort. Deepest dungeon, seventh floor. That's pretty deep. Equipment, cog wheel wand. Skills, ma making magic items. Right, there was that one episode where we fought that like ice cube monster thing and Roasty's magic engineering helped us. Will's roommate and a skilled artificer. The more anxious he grows over Colette, the more his affection for Will breaks loose. <laughs> he's no more naturally gifted than the next artificer. But he's a genius for whom the word it's for will allows him to create any number of magic items. Basically, the potential for his magic engineering is unlimited if it's for will. Hmm? This strength some weird theory? I mean, it's, it just says like the untapped potential. It's all about, you know, his love for will. Then he does everything crazy. Liana is 15, height 158 centimeters. Uh, likes Tales of the Knights of Rouge. Queen Galette's crepes from- CREPES! CREPES! Mmm, big crepe propaganda. I'm surprised we haven't seen a crepe today during the date episode. Crepes from the phantom food cart that haunts Crowstar Street. Dislikes the whole Owen Zhao's family. Uh, what last name was the Owen- No, it, it's- It's herself. Okay, Liana hates her family. First love, a nameless pumpkin head. What? <laughs> pumpkin head? Okay. Deepest dungeon floor reach, 8th floor. Equipment, silver bolt wand, and misericord of the oath. I don't know what that is. Skills, O1 seek. Close quarters combat centered around lightning magic. Born to a line of knights, house of Owen's house. Her abilities puts her at the top of the class, inspiring her Miss Perfect nickname. In truth, she's an even glutton than Will. What do you mean glutton? Gluttonous for what? What is Will gluttonous for? I don't know. I've never seen him be excessively obsessed with like... He's... I haven't seen him eat like crazy. Right? You think glutton, you probably assume food, but have we seen Will eat a lot of food and think that, wow, he's a glutton? I don't really think so, right? Wonder what she's gluttonous for. What is Will gluttonous for? I don't know. He has a desire to reach Elfie no matter what, but this glutton? That's an interesting line. Dude, this is like his fidget spinner. This, he's so ADHD out of his mind. Like, whenever he sees Will, he gets so fucking triggered. He needs to do something. It's like a stress ball fidget spinner, bro. I'll punch her face again. <laughs> Because your talent.
ダメだったか But she's kind of like bad at following social cues, I guess. Kind of like an airhead. <laughs> look at me! Please, Will, why don't you look me in the eyes like you look at Roasty? <laughs> Wignall opens his eyes! No Flower magic. Oh, damn, that's racist. That's racist as fuck. Illusion Genjutsu. Exclusive to elves. Interesting. So elfy should be able to do it, but illusion magic is only for elves? Wait. Is elfy an elf? No. She's just a regular human. I just assumed that because Elfaria. Is she? She's not. Her name is Elf. No, 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 no. She's not an Elf. I'm like, hold on a second. No, her, her ear ain't pointy. First, Rihanna's story. She just looks at things in a such a logical, rational, objective way. Don't care if he can't use magic. He's useful. Shut your ass up, dish boy! I'm gonna break your face again! Fuck your search magic. I got Kiki. I tell Kiki, yo, where do we go? And Kiki goes that way! And we just follow. Yep. True. I love Wignall, even though he's a little racist towards dwarves, but that's basically every elf and dwarf in, an, in, in a fantasy setting. That's what I was saying, man. Being true. True. Man, Wignall? I like him. Very objective, rational guy. Of course, he has some biases and stereotypes of dwarves, but like, he sees this. He sees potential and will. Y'all fucking lost to him. Why are you talking shit? Let him carry us. Use Gluttony. I think this may be the gluttony that we're talking about, right? I don't know. Gluttony and greed is kind of like overlapping. Because you could say that she's very greedy to get her acknowledgement out there, right? No matter what, she wants to use you guys, right? Look at the wording. I want to use all of you, including Wignall, right? She's very gluttonous about her drive to be recognized at the top of the tower. And then Will's gluttony is what? Also his desire to climb to meet Elfie. Yeah, I don't know if, because like that's the thing, right? Gluttony and greed, there's a lot of overlap. When you think gluttony, you think of like excessive amount of eating food, but you could also see that as greed of like someone that's greedy for food. There's, there's just, it's weird. But right now, the show said gluttony in the uh, intermission scene. But denied? Wow. Wow. And that's the rank one saying we're inferior. Damn. We are short right. Family of knights. She hates her family. That's what's said in the intermission scene. Let's go. I mean, at this table, are these not going to be the next generation of the Maki Avengers? We have one of each element. I know that Will is not, you know, an element, but lightning, ice, wind, fire. I feel like this is the next generations of the Maki Avengers. We've seen them before in the throne, right? There was one empty chair in the middle, but I don't know where Will fits in there. Some sort of tradition? This is the ultimate party, man. All star shit. <laughs> Everyone is a line. 
<laughs> Why won't Will look at me? <laughs> you gotta get closer to Elfie, right? <laughs> he really did just leave them alone for hours. It's already nighttime. I wonder how they must they fought, but did Will do it or not? Did he? Because his goal is to get to the top of the tower to meet Elfie. If it means become a Magia vendor, it's fine. But his goal isn't to become a Magia vendor. His goal is to find Elfie, like meet with her. But will he join? I don't know. He threw it? He joined? Oh, yo, the soundtrack playing right now. Will's face locked in. This is great. The soundtrack playing right now is crazy. Alright, all star party! All five, man! This is getting hype. I think goosebumps. Seven to ten. Rosti got as deep as seven. Liana only has gotten to the eighth floor. Seven to ten is usually locked because it's that dangerous, huh? Okay. Four-tier monster to kill is possible. Defeating a floor. Of course, some of you will die. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Kurosaka. <laughs> Yes, sir. What are you doing? Did she just hang out with us? Like, just because it's a party doesn't mean Colette can't, like, jo Cause she she doesn't have to be in a party. She can just follow. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, oh no, what's Cole gonna do? Well, she's still gonna hang out. Rusty! Call up Pout! Have we seen her before? I can't remember, but oh my god, nice design. End. Alright, here we go. Post credit scene. Some dude. What? There's a new character. There's a dude being choked, and a dude head doesn't exist here. Go and retrieve the goods in secret. Sent by who? He sent me here. When the kids are holding that festival up there, so this is not a student. This is a different group of people. And he is here to retrieve the goods in the dungeon. So this is going to be the main antagonist, not the actual boss monsters in the dungeon. Damn, who is that? I'm assuming this is the guy that ordered him to go get the goods in the dungeon. He doesn't have a head? He's just a fucking floating darkness smoke guy? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got some super strong villains just showing up. Alright. And that's today's episode of Wistoria and huh yeah I'm, I'm not completely sure if this is like an independent person or not right what did he say leaves me with no choice to but to slaughter my way through you know but maybe this is like a summon maybe maybe it's just one person right and this is like 
his summon or something. It's not like the thing that ordered him. So there's still somebody that ordered this guy. There's a bigger boss here, right? Assuming that the Smokehead is not a boss and he just took a summon. And there's a bigger villain boss that told these dudes to show up in the dungeon when the kids were having their fucking praxis to get the goods, whatever the goods are. But interesting stuff at the end. Today's episode was very fun. Correcting Julius by making him the dish boy is so funny. But I also love how his persona doesn't change. Because yes, he was like, oh man. I'm like, oh yeah, that was also 10th floor teacher? Was that the 10th floor teacher? I just realized, I'm like, who did he kill? Maybe it is. Because the 10th floor teacher was this guy. It is him. Yes. Green hair, 10th floor teacher. 10th floor teacher. All right. 10th floor is where all this shit's gonna go. But, you know, other than that, it was just like a slice of life funny episode. We got a lot of rusty fan service, more than Colette. Femboy enjoyers rejoice. And then Liana acknowledging Will's strength and partying up. We have a group of five of the strongest of the school. It's looking like these dudes could be the next Magia vendors to each element too, right? Wignall's personality, we get to see a little bit more. He seems very objective based, a little racist against the dwarves, but that's every elf, right? Julius and Xion really can't really talk shit against the guy that they lost to. And Wignall is right. Liana sees everything very objectively. She comes from like a family of knights, but she also hates her family apparently. And she's a glutton more than will in getting some sort of achievements and, you know, climbing the tower to achieve her goals of become Magia Bender. And at the end, man, floor 10, this dude, they kill the teacher. So looking like a pretty strong enemy to fight against next episode. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.